Welcome to Lecture Online and now let's try our hand on some of these examples here. Again, we want to be able to convert the language of math into mathematical expression. So twice a number. Well, in algebra we use an unknown number. We call it x or y or z or something like that. Here we're going to call the unknown number 5. So it's really not unknown. It's a known number. But we're going to use that number in all our various expressions here. Twice a number. Well, if the number is 5, then twice a number is 2 times that number. 2 times 5. 6 added to a number. Well, if the number is 5 and we want to add 6 to it, we write the number first. And then we add 6 to that. So that's 6 added to 5. And notice that the expression that we do it mathematically tends to be in reverse the way the words are written. A number subtracted from 8 means we put the number 8 down and then we subtract the number from that. If our number is 5, we subtract 5 from 8. 8 added to 3 times the number. So first we write 3 times the number, 3 times 5, and then it says 8 added to that, so we go plus 8. So 3 times the number plus 8, that's 8 added to 3 times the number. Twice the number subtracted from 15. We write the number 15 first, and then we subtract from that twice the number, twice 5, minus 2 times 5. Remember the order of operations. We go 2 times 5 first before we subtract it from 15. Here, 5 times the number. Well, if the number is 5, then 5 times that number is 5 times 5. 4 added to the number. Well, a number is 5, and then we add 4 to that. Again, it's in reverse. 3 subtracted from a number. We write the number first, and then we subtract 3 from that. 6 subtracted from 4 times the number. 4 times the number, if the number is 5, we write that first. 4 times 5, and then we subtract from that the number 6, minus 6. This means 6 subtracted from 4 times the number. And finally, 8 times the number added to 52. We write the number 52. And then we add to that 8 times the number, if the number is 5, 8 times the number. Add it to 52, 8 times the number. And that's how we write that. And that is the language of mathematics. We see the words, and then somehow we have to, ex to write that in a mathematical expression. And so here are some really good examples of how to do that.